Hi, welcome to the Market Alert for Wednesday, the 3rd of April 2019. So yesterday, the pound sideways, bouncing off the 200 bar moving average. You can see prices moving higher, except they didn't move during the session. They moved uh, after the session where you can see here. During the session, they were sideways. There was absolutely no news to move the market. This news came later, and the news was that um, Corbyn has been invited to talks now as we end up with about 11 days or whatever it is before uh, we're supposed to leave or get an extension uh, but now it's gone off on a whole new level which uh, you can see there's mutiny now in the Tory party over having a uh, chat with uh, Corbyn I'll put it uh, like that um, wow it just uh, goes from bad to worse so the pound up and um, yeah, uh, sideways to higher at the moment. I mean, I'm still staggered by how much this market is uh, sitting on the upside. When you look at the lows down in December, where this market should be, in my opinion, given the so-called uh, crisis that we've got on with, uh, with government, it's just staggering. Uh, and I'll keep saying it. I'm sure there's got to be some sort of uh, Bank of England support here, just so that it, we starting to look like uh, Venezuela and the currency uh, crashing but uh, yeah unbelievable how uh, they're managing to pull this one off I do not know I really don't know unless as I've said before the long-term objective and the city know it is we're not going to leave they've got a forewarning of this and this is why they keep dragging things out and uh, it looks like a mess when really they have the agenda already sorted news uh, there is none uh, no point in uh, looking at this and in the Dow uh, get the right chart so just one second uh, in the Dow down yesterday as I said to you yesterday Tuesdays can be a funny day because uh, the markets absorbed the news and uh, there wasn't any economic news to move the market so down but not a lot uh, you can see the markets reversed already off this uh, during uh, the overnight uh, market yesterday the market uh, was sideways it stuck in a range and then it became narrower throughout the session bit of a move to the upside and then profit taking after the close but uh, on the overnight uh, you can see there that uh, prices have shot up above the 200 bar moving average and now uh, stuck in a sideways move so some news there coming into the market at uh, just after 1 a.m. this morning and prices uh, sideways at the moment they'll need to stay above the 200 bar moving average and DP in order to uh, move higher there and uh, Bitcoin well this is getting interesting uh, we managed to take out the uh, ascending triangle that I spoke about in uh, Monday's uh, market alert we're up on the uh, overnight as well and holding at the moment we need to take out the uh, recent high which is uh, there at uh, 5145. This needs to be uh, removed. And also um, watch for uh, any sort of uh, small retracement here as well. I'll draw those in as the market uh, starts to unfold. Uh, in fact, we could do it in the four hour chart. What I'd be inclined to do is uh, this from this low to the high of the selling pressure bar that's being left behind there. Uh, watch uh, this area here. Also watch for the 5,000 level being uh, taken out again, which is obviously around this area. The market at the moment is struggling with this. But on the downside, watch uh, the 4.7 area for uh, some support. And in the 15 minute, you can see that the market's moved overnight. It didn't do a lot yesterday. We traded to the downside and then went into a sideways move, which is a bit of a pain. I wasn't... Uh, expecting I thought we might have had more volatility there is more volatility here you can see it from the range you know there's a $200 range so the range is improving nicely now but we could do with a bit more up and down during the main event opening hours that is so yeah up on the overnight but certainly the volatility coming back and these are nice bars this is what we want to see and we've what we've been looking for for the last few months so if this continues where we get nice uh, $50 uh, range bars uh, consistently then we'll know we're back 
as far as this market is concerned. But at the moment, it's certainly looking like it's uh, broken out and uh, the so-called uh, Bitcoin uh, consolidation and bear market is over. As uh, I said in Monday, it would come out of the blue and sure enough, it uh, did there and price is now moving back to the upside at the moment. So that will do it uh, for this one. Let's see what uh, farce unfolds today for the pound and whether they uh, are still going to try and hold it at these levels. Who knows? Uh, the Dow, well, still looking towards uh, heading back to uh, the all time highs there. You can see uh, we've got the all time high and then uh, Bitcoin watch for prices uh, finding support and then increasing the trading range there as well to get back in and start trading this. Okay, that will do it uh, for this one. If there is anything else to report, I will let you know. But otherwise, uh, as ever, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.